Welcome to MTU Esports. Today our MTU Huskies Overwatch 2 team is taking on the Rochester Institute of Technology in the Playfly League. I'm Liam and this is? I'm Chris, also known as Bird. Um, today for our players on the MTU team we're going to have our captain Lucas as Cheesebread, Isaac as Isaac, Daniel as Jolo, Jacob as JRB, Christopher as Savage, and Brendan as Suski. And for RAT, we've got Captain Essel, Blackjack, I have Storm, Frostfire 397, Rescue Toast, and Seb. Today is going to be an interesting match. Both teams are, well, MTU is coming in with a flawless record, whereas RIT only has one loss, but it was to a pretty strong Cumberland team. What are your thoughts about the match, Chris? Um, I think it's going to be just a big game for both teams. We're both doing really well in the league so far. So I think it's going to be a heated match. We could even go to game five. So we'll see how it goes. Well, here's hoping. This, uh, we've, we've been seeing a lot of brawl coming out from MTU. They've been playing a lot of a Ram and then more recently Arissa. I'd imagine that's a lot of what we're going to be seeing today. Yeah, I could see either the Ram or the Arisa coming out. I think both of them are great, especially on Antarctic Peninsula. This is our, I think it seems like our favorite map. We always love to choose it. We always love to play on it. We tend to succeed on it, so it makes sense. That we do. And like you said, it is a great map for Brawl, so expect to see the Orissa. I'd like to thank our sponsors, uh, Bradway Enterprises. Need to be close to campus? We have places for that. Find the perfect location. Live where you want to live. HoughtonForRent.com And University Images. University Images is your official headquarters for authentic Michigan Tech Huskies apparel. University owned, university operated. University Images. Located in the SDC. Or go to bookstore.mtu.edu We're still waiting in the lobby here. Looks like we've got a full roster of both teams. Not quite sure what we're waiting on. Uh, other than the Arisa comp that we expect to see in this map. I mean, I'm sure Isaac's going to be on his May. Of course. To see it. Um, he's just been great on it so far. Uh, um, are those amazing walls. I mean, it's really thrown off. Anytime anyone else has played Brawl into us, our May walls have just been, I feel like, better than the opposing May's walls. Absolutely. And it's really won us a lot of fights and a lot of games. That as well as the Blizzards. And okay, we're entering the game. Antarctic Peninsula. And just off rip, it looked like a ball Junkrat comp. I can't imagine we're going to stick with that very long. No, I would not think so. Um, let's do a cool shot of the over of the sub level. We're waiting to see what characters we pick for this map. But I'm sure it's going to be Arissa. Thanks to our wonderful observer here, this is a truly cinematic shot. Ready for battle. And, and we do have we the Arissa are. coming out. There it is. The Orissa with the Juno and the Brig. We've been seeing a lot of that support comp recently. That we have. And but just, does the enemy team has a Genji, it looks like. Which is going to be very interesting. It's a very interesting pick. Along with the Cass. I can't... Five, I struggle to imagine what the Genji's really going to do here. I mean, I, it's less dam It's the same damage and less uh, stopping power than the May. Yeah, I've definitely seen, I have not seen Genji yet, so it's going to be interesting to see where this goes. There he is, taking space. And he's the duel from the tanks. Looks like JRB is way up. Although yeah, that is. Pushed back a bit. Big wall. Big wall. Pulls off the Juno. There comes, there comes the Fortify. And, and down goes Frost. Yeah, first Juno, pick, the enemy Juno second won. pick, we have already seemed like we're going to win this one. Flex on the javelin, but too little, too late. 
as MT wraps up the fight. Absolutely dominant. Oh, and there's the Genji. Really did not have much of an impact, despite staying alive for the longest time. And it looks like we're coming up on Blizzard as well as uh, Orbital Ray. That we are, but I know that the enemy team does not seem to really have any ultimates coming up. No. Obviously, us winning that fight really is going to get that snowball started. Yeah, the closest to Especially right now, that Arissa almost died there There's on the enemy team. There's an engine in the back line. Brig goes down. And this looks like a herd of blizzard from uh, Isaac. And that's the only fight win. That it is. It looks like we're just trying to get those last kills. There we go. And, and the Genji's staggered again, despite that still did not have the blade up. Although they are coming up on Terra Surge. Actually, they're coming up on nearly everything right now, but they will have the Juno ult imminent. It's matched on the other side, along with a Rally and a Terra Surge. Yeah, we definitely have better alts coming up here, but that doesn't mean they don't have any alts either. So this is going to be a big there's, fight. There's the early orbital array. Genji Blade in the back line. Will it get value? He's doesn't it, he's seem like he's getting anyone, but... No, the double support alts are too strong. That they are. And Juno... Oh my goodness, Isaac trying to get that kill and not getting it right oh, there. Staggered out of position. And there's the Bob. Oh, deflected. Oh, the Genji. Jolo finds himself dead. And Bob's still at point in space, and that's almost a full cap here. And we're getting close fight. to that 99%. And Seb's going in looking for the Terra Surge. Doesn't go for it. It does. They do cap the point here, right before we get... We do get to those high, those 90s though. Absolutely. It's, open. it's really a one fight game minus a frantic last stitch attempt to touch. So we're just looking for one fight win from the NTU side. That said, they do only have the Blizzard into Terra Surge and Deadeye where actually that's kind of pretty even. Oh, Ooh, yeah. getting a pick with that Deadeye though. That's going to really work to RIT's favor. They're going to Yeah, that it is. That is going to be us just melting from that one pick. Jolo is going to have to book it out of here. He does not want to be staggered. Oh, unfortunate. And that's a fight win for RIT. But you can see they're already coming up on another. They're going to have the orbital ray before we do, which could easily win them, win them this fight. True, although if we hit a massive blizzard, which is well within the realm of possibility. Oh, but Isaac just goes down before he gets the chance. They commit the Terra Surge and they find the Brig, and that's another fight. These yeah. fights are happening fast. That they are. It is not... We've already had maybe two, three fights just since they've capped the point. Ooh. Stagger kill on the Juno is not ideal. Definitely not. Looks like they're just resetting the top left high ground. Yeah, we probably got one good fight here, and then if we don't win it, we're just kind of trying to get that touch. Absolutely. But there is, there's Mirror Juno ults, but there's a Rally and a Blade on the side of RITs. This will be an uphill battle for NTU. That it will be. And that's another, that's a massive wall. The Genji goes down. And Terra Surge Big committed. Terra Surge. Big, massive, the cast is one, the brig goes down. It's honestly just a matter of staggers now. Yeah. Beautiful they can get stuff. some great staggers here. That'll really help with them not being able to touch here. And they do, there's three dead from the RT. The blade comes in, but... He's already dead. That's a dream and a half. And will they be able to touch? No, they will not. Not again. That was, despite a last ditch switch to the Reinhardt to touch point uh, nobody makes it and that's a pretty decided pretty lopsided first game for MTU despite the close match score yeah it felt like that first half that match we were really in control and even with them getting control more near that second half it felt like just because of some early picks yeah absolutely which then MTU got off of the Maywall in the last fight, and that's what swung it. Yep. Once we got that opening pick, we won. It was just cleaning up afterwards. It looks like we have a Lucio, probably just for the speed boost at the start, though. Oh, no. I, no, yeah. yeah. We're going no. back on the Juno Brig. That's really, you'd think the Juno would do that. 
I wonder well, I guess if you can get both. I mean, they are here before them, so. True. Oh, wow. Wow, early That's pick a there. Crazy first pick under the cast. And a big and wall coming out. The May walls her own brig out to dry. And it's just, again, staggers from here. I don't know if we'll get any more after that, but. No. Just Indeed. a great fight win there. Really quick. We got that first pick, and it was just decided from there. Basically, no ults up. Frost still in single digits. That's crazy. And it's looking like MTUs, again, found their footing at the start of the map. Those and we'll see if it continues like before with those snowball wins, and then... Yeah. Uh, I mean, MTU especially... Oh! oh I was going to say off going the main, cursed it. Maze. Oh, Juno won though. Oh, but we do get the Juno, which is, I'd say, a bigger pick than the May here. Absolutely, but it does come at the cost of the flip. And Joe is on a, on an off angle, just looking for heads to click. We found one. Not quite a kill though. Versus. There we go. Oh. He does get the head click, but there then he, he dies himself. So it is still even here. Sniper battle rages on on Antarctica. <laughs> And we have the Juno, Juno all coming out here. And Seb's in a bad position. He goes down. Beautiful stuff. And now we're just getting those staggers and flipping the point back to our team. Beautiful. Uh, that was just at the cost of the Juno ult, too. We're coming up on basically every other ultimate. Joel is lagging a little behind, but not by much. That said, RIT has a full... Oh, I'm sure we bank. can win this fight with one or two ultimates and then use that bob in the next fight to really win it. You hope. We're already using the blizzard oh, the here. Early blizzard committed. I don't think it ended up freezing anyone. We see it coming out from... Oh man, that is a triple freeze. Comes right back from our ID and that's... That looks like a fight. Jolo did win. get one, but it is... Got two, but it is too little too late. Yeah. We see it a lot in fights that MTU loses, where Jolo is clicking heads and it just doesn't translate. That said, when he's on, he's on, you can tell. A lot of alts used from our side there, and unfortunately not winning it. We only have Bob now, whereas they have everything but Freeze. It's true, we, did, we committed a lot, and all they had to do is hit one Blizzard. Not ideal, but MTU absolutely can't come back from this. Let's see Without what they, a doubt. Let's see what Jolo does with that Bob. Looks like just a poke duel from high ground. So it matches for the brawl. And that's Bob out. Orbital Ray comes out. MTU will be forced to disengage here. Without a doubt. And it looks like they're just pushing in and there comes the Terra Surge. Pushing out the cryo and getting a kill on the Ash. That is massive. Is not looking great for us here. No, one more fight. Although the stagger on the brig. Oh, that is tough. Although it does get us time to build up to that massive Juno ult, which could be the deciding factor, but going into a blizzard, Bob and Rally, it's... Right now we're looking for the touch. We're already at 99. Yeah. Tracer does Tracer get the touch, it. but we need the rest of our team here. Uh, it's just Jolo against the world, and he can't do it forever. But we big, do get here, and the Juno ult comes out. Big May wall. Unfortunately, doesn't find much. And that's a freeze and a on freeze the tank. as well. And that looks like, unfortunately, about it. Unless Isaac can unless work this, some magic. Oh, no. Not quite. Just got the freeze before he died, but could not use it. No, it's healers against the world, and they can't make it happen. Unfortunate. The second round goes to RIT. Now, that looks a little closer than the last map. Uh, though, it did not go our way. Yeah. It is weird how that one felt closer, even though the first map was 99-99. Yeah. I guess it was just so... The first one was just so one-sided, and this one you just felt going both ways every fight or so. Yeah, it felt like it kept flipping between who won and who lost. Maybe that Genji pick on the first map really was holding them back. Yeah, now we're on mirrored comps here, except for Akiriko on our side. So we'll see if that changes anything. Interesting. You got the cleanse, you got the added DPS at range. Oh, without a doubt. 
that cleanse is amazing to have, especially against the blizzard. Absolutely. Just I mean, we could easily be going on that just because of how well their blizzards worked last time. That makes a lot of sense. Because those blizzards won them a good two fights. But, oh, the, the Essel's going low. Big wall there, oh, but unfortunately not working out. The other mag is found instead. Looks like we st MTU still has point position. Frost's in a weird spot. We don't quite get the cap point. there. But they're certainly stalling this out for as long as they can. Ooh. Shot on the Juno and a 1 HP Jolo. Jolo is living there though. But there goes the tank, and that's most definitely going to be the win for RIT. So, really drawn out first fight. We haven't seen many of those so far. We're coming up a lot of ults. Still have contest. not seen a cap yet. Uh, but we will very, very shortly here. Uh, there we go, first cap. RIT is looking like they want blood. Let's see what MTU has to say about it. They're coming up on the I think blizzard. The, the big one here is that they are going to have Orbital Ray much sooner than we will. Absolutely. And that is such an impactful ult right now in this meta. 100%. And the Kitsune Rush is... Oh, and it. Isaac Ooh. dying. That is very unfortunate. Uh, it's a, We're going to have to back out here and just wait for the next fight. You just have to wait. There's nothing to be done. Except get staggered. It looks like they almost got a pick on this. A cheeky little pick on Frost, but it doesn't go through. Not quite. And now it's a full ultimate matchup. Five ults on both sides coming into this fight. And the early bob from Frost off the ledge. Unfortunate. Oh, did it oh, fall off there? Goes down, yeah, just right off the side. Our bob does not do much either, though. Quickly dying there. Just alts and alts, I could not name all of them, but it does not look like we're coming out on top here with this fight. No. JRB uses the Terra Surge and finds May. Honestly, that might be that might be good because you can engage without the May wall with everyone coming back at the same time. But we will see. Looks like we still have two it's two alts on either side. But and MTU we still have has the Juno ult. We probably have the better alts here. So I definitely think we can use those to win this fight. Yeah. Isaac's been... He struggled in the last map, but he's been fighting these massive blizzards of late. And if he can find another one here... Oh, the Jolo goes down off the rip. There's a Blizzard. big wall there. Oh. Forcing out the Terra Surge. Oh, and oh, two kills from the Terra too. Surge there. Is, that is just unfortunate. And that... After a stagger from Savage, that uh, is... That is the first round. win going to RIT. Yeah, you hate to see it. What happened at the end there? I mean, I feel like Seb was just waiting out cooldowns with his Terra Surge, and I think Isaac was expecting him to do it quicker. So as soon as he came out of Ice Block, he just blew up. Yeah, a mind game really went in the favor of him to you. I mean, RIT, rather. This is... This was a great fight from Isaac, though. <laughs> that it was. Fortunately, it was not the last. A close match overall. Absolutely. Any of those maps could have gone either way, without a doubt. So I think we're just... We're going to be waiting here on whatever the next map is, no. which will be hybrid, if I'm correct. I believe so. Uh, last time... Well, it looks like MTU has selected Numbani. That's interesting. I haven't seen that one before. Oh, I wonder if they want to take they want to take RIT off of the Brawl Mirror. Because Numbani, for point A, it's really tough to run the Brawl. Yeah, on the attacking side, or really either side, to be yeah. honest. There's just so many high grounds to utilize. I feel like it's a much more dive-heavy map. Absolutely. And even, even if you're not going to run dive, I think you'd run a Sigma over... Marissa. We're still waiting on the enter in. Uh, we're going to go to a quick break.
And we're back on MTU's map pick King's Row, not in Bonnie, as it turns out. That makes a lot more sense, I would think. Yeah, I think we'd love to play Brawl, and I was, I don't think New Bonnie is the Brawl map. No. Not, not one bit. Good thing we have some options here. And I expect we're going to see mostly the same comps on uh, King's Row as we did on Antarctic Peninsula. It's a similar type of map. And we do see an Ana on our side, though. Ooh, that's interesting. I think it makes sense given the King's Row sight lines. Yeah, there's practically no long sight lines in um, Antarctic Peninsula. So. Oh, no long sight lines that the en enemy can't see you as well. Yeah, that's true. And GRB giving a little wave. It's after a shocking first map loss. That's yeah, our first one yet, so. It'll be interesting to see how we deal with this. Yeah, will MTU bounce back? It remains to be seen. I certainly I certainly think so. It looks like Arissa was up top there. Now uh, the bull ring in space. And uh, taking the fight around statue. Looks like the Juno's climb out for a little bit, but backs off quickly. JRB's the shoot in the May. Almost being Forced a one-man army up there, fighting everyone at once. Yeah, he's just by himself with I guy. Yes, taking take a fight in a hotel though. Although not not knowing the walls are gonna come out, it's gonna be a big save for MTU. Yeah, the with the main anti, the Ana immediately oh getting value. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, unfortunately, Ana goes down before the kill can go through, and Orisa is just so hard to kill. It doesn't end up mattering. And Frost got two big picks there. And that's. With three picks from the side of RIT, that's a, that's a fight win. Unless they're looking for a late recontest, which I do not see happening. Especially yeah, with no. RIT pushed up this much. Oh. They, they head back. And old wise. I think it's pretty even right now, to be honest. I mean, yeah, it is pretty even. RIT definitely has a bit of the alt advantage, but not by much. And, oh, and that's an quickly early getting pick. the first pick there, and Another almost a wall on the May. Big stuff. The wall does come through on the Orisa, and it looks like they're going to get a chokehold here, which is oh, man. huge. Oh, yeah. It was very smart to not like look for a late recontest there, because this holding the choke on King's Row is very, very strong. Oh, yeah. This archway is notoriously difficult to get through, Despite especially if you're facing May that can wall off your tank. Absolutely. They're just they're literally just sitting on cart. And there, there's the blizzard coming from RIT. And matched by the Juno Wolf from MTU and the Blizzard. And May's down along with it looks like the Ash close. Yep, and there goes the Ash. With no DPS on the side of RIT, they're just gonna have to get out fast. 
The Orisa just she sitting gets, still there. <laughs> looks like she got hit with a blizzard a little late. <laughs> Unfortunate. And a snipe from the May onto the Juno will really put a cap on that fight there. And we do have one extra alt here being um, we do have Terra Surge and Nano whereas, and Bob, whereas they have Bob and... Oh man, immediately Nano Boost oh, and wow. Bob coming out. Asleep onto the Bob though. Yeah, the DPS again from RIT get caught out of position and killed. Yeah. Looks like... And then, like, just like before, we're looking for staggers. I don't I don't know how much we'll find, given the positioning. I'm oh. sure if there's a wall here, we might... No, we're just backing out. No. It's, like it's probably a safe play there. They do bring out the Genji here. That is I did very not see that. I wonder what they're looking for here. I think especially on King I'm Zero sure just match. trying to get on that Ana and get to, like, right now, getting those two picks on Genji. As soon as I open my mouth, the Genji pops off. That is... Unfortunate and a quick fight win for IT. They just walk through the choke and and a big stagger and cheese stagger. bread there. Yeah, no, it really you hate to see that. But he does he does spawn with the rest of his team. It was not enough of a stagger to get the uh, later spawn. Oh yeah, no, the what that feature's called, but the uh, group spawn. Group right? spawn. Yes. Yeah. Looks like it I really worked MT, MTU's advantage there. I think he needs to die another like six to seven seconds after the last person to not be grouped with them, so. Whatever the exact number is, the point is, we're back. <laughs> we are. And the anti comes out, does not quite find anything, but the blizzard, the blizzard comes, comes out, comes well, out. matched by the Juno ult. And I think that, that just kind of gets rid of their Juno ult there. They were unable to do really anything with it. And then to use Juno ult's coming out right after, and it looks like it's gonna have a much more powerful impact. It's already yeah, a kill Frost the dying there, and Savage dying on our side, but he will be back sooner than they will. Yeah, and the wall on the Seb, this might just be a kill on the Arisa. I don't know. No, it's out. a kill on Isaac. That's unfortunate. Wow. How does that happen? I didn't even notice that until <laughs> you mentioned it, Chris. Yeah, just unfortunate. It looks like we're going for the Terra Surge oh, here. The and oh my Nano goodness. Terra Surge finds Juno, but the blade's coming in the back line. And that's two picks for Almost you. dead, though. Essel. Block on the. Or the deflect. That is an unfortunate fight win. We're gonna have to get a recontest here. I don't and think we it, don't. Oh, we do get oh, it. It looks like May is touching. It. I don't think that's gonna be enough, though. No, it was a, it was an opening a prayer, and they couldn't quite get it done. Alright, he now having. Alright, he now has a full three minutes to cap this last point. True, but Kings are a C. Anything can happen. Oh yes. It's another one of those where that first corner is great to hold on the fence. Absolutely. And I think and, RIT ooh, knows that, trying to stop energy. us. Oh, that. That's it is. The bob onto the high ground, that look, just looked disrespectful from Cholo. And it's just, again, staggers from here. I don't think we'll get any, though. Oh, okay. Isaac's almost dying there. Backing out. Yeah, the cry was forced, but... I'll have it back by the time the team fight starts. And MTU's looking with a blizzard at four ults and a near blade coming out from MTU. The early Juno ult forces, forces the Arisa back. Looks like we can just kite out of that for now, though. Then he's in the thick of it. Finds the, finds the May. That, that he does. That is really unfortunate. unfortunate. A massive pick. And, and Bob's the Bob going in, in. Further forcing MTU back. JRB may go down here. It's Jolo first who goes down, and then Savage and JRB. Well, the Juno is committed to save him, but it's too little too late. You'd really We're going to need to recontest this, it's... and we don't have really anyone alive to do so. The Venture switch, but can he make it in time? Oh, the Tracer's... Oh, the Tracer just barely touches. And again, Shadows of Last Match. And unfortunate, they do cap it there. Well... Oh. It didn't. It almost looks like, like RIT actually all got off point, but we're there just long enough to cap it. Yeah, you hate to see it. Over a minute too means that MTU will have to cap this map with time if they want a chance yes. to go to round four and three. Uh, it's hard. It's, it's gonna be an uphill battle. Without a doubt. We're just. I'm sure we're gonna see a brawl pick 
on our side. And Absolutely. I'm sure team comps will probably just be the same. We might not have an Ana on the offense, though. Yeah, no, the Ana might be, it might be hard to get positioning that you want when you're playing the Ana. We do have so, a Kiriko. Yeah, so. we see a Kiriko. It looks like the, the switch that we like to make from the brig, it looks like. We saw it a little bit in the last map of uh, Antarctica. Yeah. So. We do see the Genji as well on their side. The Genji really did get a lot of value there. Yeah, I wonder if it's just a comfort pick for Essel. He did look like he was he was really efficient at diving in and just finding low, light, low HP targets, making them himself when he couldn't find any. Yeah, he really knows that character. Ooh, Seb is winning the emote war of the Orisas right now. I gotta say, that, that puppy emote does outrank this stop, let children cross emote. That, yeah, that it does. I really hate to see it. Not Hopefully a good not omen for how this is gonna go. And there it is. First fight looking honestly about mirror of the previous round. Although Seb is looking to be a little healthier than JRB. And oh, Frost Hunter Frost picking getting Jola the pick, across the yeah. map. Isaac's on the flank, but he's cryos forced out and he's just gonna be running here. Yeah, One health go find and it. Oh Ooh. but can can they punish? They cannot. But there is a coming up the back. How much to be done? That's just a stagger. 40 seconds down. We're gonna have to sit here and just wait for our teammates to come back and get that next contest. Yeah. Basically no ultimates. The closest is Savage on the Juno. If they get that early Juno ult, that might be massive. But very much so. I mean, that Juno ult really wins fights. If you used right. It's just a, again, the Orisas are just fighting in main. Oh, the, the wall doesn't quite block off Seb. Yeah, able, to, able to escape get there. Oh, but Savage finds Frost. That That's is a, a massive pick. pick. No damage pressure from the high ground. And it's We do have the Juno wall. And there's the Juno wall, and that's a, that's both DPS dead. I don't know how far we can push there, but yeah, we're gonna but try. We're up to, it doesn't look like very far. It looks like we're more worried about keeping positioning. Yeah, and I don't think we're gonna see a recontest here from oh. RIT. No, it looks like they're gonna pull out the same way MTU did on the last map and just try to hold a choke. But going into this, we will have the Blizzard and the Katsune Rush to try to break through. And we do have Terra Su Surge soon. There it is, we have it now. Oh, this, the Genji tries to, the Chigi pick on the Ash and just gets obliterated by Cheese Bread and Jolo. Bob coming out from RIT. And there's the Katsune from the Katsune from us. And then we're they do kite away from the Katsune though. A little bit unfortunate there. No, it forces space, but you it does. want a bit more ult. You want a bit more power out of that ultimate. Yeah. That's that's about and We halfway. force out Rally. Rescue was really low there and had to use Rally. RIT and Juno stacks, stacks the portal ultimates of five clan clans. Coming from the Kiriko, and there's a pick on the Genji. The Kiriko is absolutely the MVP of this map so far. And that was insane. I don't know how MT pulled that off. But they very much did, and... Some heroics from Cheesebread, and the massive Maywall from Isaac. And suddenly, RIT's got no economy, and MTU's got a Blizzard. And a Bob. And a Bob. Both, Both phenomenal ults, ults for contesting the last little bit of the point. I would oh, yeah. be shocked if this just wasn't a roll through. I'm sh I would be surprised if they didn't try to contest here though. Uh, and then Seb does. He does get a touch at the very end, but he's but goes down immediately, immediately goes down. It. The May ice fogging on point to try and get that contest, but just without a tank, it really is just a stagger more than anything. Yeah, you just you just delay the map a little bit, and it looks like NT's gonna cap with a minute more than RIT had. Minute and a half, actually. Really? Yeah, they had three minutes when they came here, so us ending with time is looking very nice, very uh, possible. Absolutely. Especially because we still have the Blizzard and the Kitsune has come back online, and the only thing RIT has is the Bob, which will be good to stall, but it's not a fight winning ultimate. And the Katsune comes all out. They come out. Fortunately, the wall blocks off the Katsune a little bit, but 
We're you gonna really have Juno on cart. right now. I'm sure we might want to use it. Oh, there's or no blizzard. blizzard coming out. Does not freeze anyone, but we do get picks from it. Yeah, it forces it forces a hasty retreat that MT capitalized on greatly, and RIT is in the spawn room with m more time left in the map than RIT had when they capped A. And we have. We have a Terra Search here to pull him away. We might just oh, be able to cap. Oh, not so quite. Close. 0.02 meters, and supports trade, but the Juno ult coming out from MTU, you expect to be stronger, and the Juno is going it's, crazy. Although I don't are know going if it, it may be winnable here. JRB. Not. We do get Terra Surge out. That is great to have out. That is massive. Although it comes at the cost of both of our support ultimates, which is good ultimately we're further on the point but yeah now we're into a only rally. ultimate here is the brig ult on um rit side but we are coming close to bob which would be great to have here absolutely and cheese bread has been farming up these consumers fast I, i'd imagine he's he'll be close as well oh he yeah be. and, and we get the found opening pick and that wall just barely missing. It does force the cryo, however, and Bob and Rally coming out. But the May is still one. Can they find the kill? Juno ult. I mean Juno ability going in, and there's the May. Juno is just spamming Both May's the down. JHB. Ooh. Uh, even fight, but spawns going to have RIT. Can they find the brig here? Massive. Brig does die. And so do, that's Juno. no support alts. They Massive. just need to melt this um, Arissa as soon as they can. This is stalling as much as she can, but it's just a matter of time. Oh, there's the May. That's going to be a big contest. I don't know if they can touch after this May, though. Oh. They can. The, the Bob, Bob touching is going to be very difficult. Massive Terra Massive Surge. Terror surge. Oh, my and goodness. Ash, and that's a cap from MTU with extra time. Well, 20 seconds more. Wow, honestly, I did not expect that, but MTU has pulled it out. That was a phenomenal point C. That it was. Only held it for three minutes. Even if it's only 20 seconds, that could be a full team fight extra. Absolutely. Especially when I think the 147 break point is a little stronger than the 127. Like 127, you have to really take that first team fight really fast if you want to get two. Whereas oh, the yeah. 147, you can play a little safer and still get two strong fights. Yeah, whereas with that 127, it's you got one strong fight, and then you're probably scrambling to point after that. Yeah. Some interesting picks we're seeing from RIT. I, I don't, know. don't know if they're going to stick with them. Yeah, you'd imagine not, but I can, especially considering the healers are on the brawl. That up. Yeah, we do see the Ana on our side coming out. Just like we did on defense before. Yeah, I think it. Which we, did do well. Yeah, we held it for. Well, we held it longer than they did. That's for sure. Yeah. And. I'm sure we're about to see some switches on RIT's side. I don't think they're coming out on ball. Unless. Oh, the monkey. Yeah, Winston, monkey we have not Farrah seen yet. And Tracer. So they are looking. This is a dive look coming out from RIT. Very much so, and... Starts out fair poking now. The Ana goes down low, but doesn't quite... Not able to get the full pick there. Which is good to see from MTU. They yeah. really just have to weather the storm. There's going to be an engage and they have to survive it. Yeah, it's going to be a lot about just living as long as you can. Especially against a dive comp, you're going to be constantly pressured. Oh, and the Winston dying Ooh. there. That is a big pick. His bubble got forced out early and he got punished. And just like that, the rest of the team melts. They tried to go for engage that it could not make. And just like that, it's 40 seconds left. Frost is 1 HP in his backline, but they can't really chase him. Yeah, and he's going to get the nice healing going on him. So he's going to be full health by the time he goes back in. And it looks like they will have time for like a good full fight here. They switched to the Genji here. Yeah, just the comfort pick coming out from Essel. He, the high ground's been contested, and MTU is forced to back off, but this brawl look, especially with how strong the Orisa is right now, along with the May. Yeah, to cap this point, they're going to have to kill the Orisa, which 
with this amount of damage on their side is gonna be difficult. There is not much. It, it, JHP can really do whatever he wants. He just has to worry about healing for those healers. And they, they are off point as for now, but they find the pick on Frost. The rally, the comes rally out. coming out, and, oh, and even fight down. now. But the nano to Orisa on point. And about to see Terra Surge. Oh, Juno goes down as well, unfortunately. If they can find the Juno back the other way. No, that's the Bob uh, going on point. Right. I think yeah. this is very winnable. Unfortunately. Oh, maybe not. Picks go the wrong way. Yeah, there we go. They are going to get this cap. I don't. We're definitely not contesting this. You know, overtime spawns make sure of that. But we are going into this fight with a pretty big ult lead, I'd say. Oh yeah, we have the Terra Surge, and we're very close to both May and Juno ult. Yeah. RIT is just coming in with a blade, which we haven't really seen. Essel's Genji has been good in the neutral, but his blades have not been all that much to write home about. Oh, and Pulse the Arisa got the late ability. spawns. We're going to see a lot of push come in here before we can actually take a fight. That is unfortunate. And Ross is looking to capitalize on all that time. Oh man, Isaac this could be it. He doesn't see him. Oh, oh, oh. nice. He wasted Pulse Bomb under the, under the Cryo Freeze of the May. Was that a deflected Blizzard? Uh, no. I guess it was. It almost looks like it was. I heard the deflect. I saw the May I'll go straight to him, but oh! In the end, it forces RIT off point, and that's a that's some distance on the point. They did but. get that first point, and then through the first choke. So I mean, getting through that first choke is a lot there. Yeah, that is unfortunately pretty massive from the side of RIT. We're gonna see what MTU has to say about it. They will. They do have a little more time going in, but I'm sure we're gonna see that um, RIT is gonna be not too hesitant to lose that first point because they know they have that difficult to get through choke point. Absolutely, that would be the smart thing to do. Let's just let's see what MTU can do about it. And it looks like the brawl look coming out from both teams. They're gonna have to the comfort pit Genji again, which it has been working for them. It has been. In fairness. I would not say we've been doing too great at countering that Genji, but we'll see how it goes. This time, no emote domination from Seb. That's good to see. That's a good sign. That is a good sign. We do have the, the uh, Kiriko. Kiriko coming out again. He's got massive value on last round's offense. Especially. I, I'm sure we're going to build that Katsune by the time we get to that choke, which that'll be a great ultimate to push through there. Too, and you have the better version of Katsune and Juno ult coming in right after. Oh yeah. Or really right before, depending on how they shape out. Yeah. And brawl around, oh, Jolo almost finds the pick. They almost. Just take the brawl around statue is staple of these opening fights. The yeah, it's just waiting for that contested. pick. Genji Goes back out there, really looking for him here. And, and Jolo get finds him. the headshot. Nice, nice headshot there to kill again. And Frost is dead as well. That's a, that's massive. No DPS. They're probably it looks like we're gonna, gonna get a quick cap here. RIT is just gonna be looking to hold, hold the choke, as you said. This means we're gonna have one, maybe even two fights at that choke. That is huge. That is really massive. Because we have such a close spawn here. Absolutely. It's it's like literally couple steps from the choke. Every trade we get will be so much better on us than on RIT because they have so much longer to walk to get here. Not to mention we're coming in with nearly both support elements whereas RIT is not close and Jello and finds the pick on the frost again. He's living in his head rent free. And the other DPS goes down as well. That is just going to be probably a very quick team fight win here. Easy. RIT is forced to back up again. They'll have to touch, but it'll be. I don't know if they can touch. Their life. They Seb did not touch. There. We melt the Aris before she touches. So there we go. And that's a much stronger performance from NTU coming on coming out of their map pick. That it is. to see as much. JRB really came up huge, along with the Kiriko. Oh, Kiriko very much so. Cheese bread was absolutely phenomenal that round. Oh, here's that huge terror surge we had to win that point. Oh, this that was just beautiful. 
you really, when you see a good terror surge, you go for it. Oh yeah. And uh, I'd like to take this moment again to thank our sponsors, Broadway Enterprises. Need to live close to campus? We have places for that. Find the perfect location. Live where you want to live. PotentForRent.com And University Images, your official headquarters for authentic Michigan Tech Huskies apparel. University owned, university operated. University Images, located in the SDC. Or go to bookstore.mtu.edu. And after a pretty dominant win on King's Row. Looks like we might be going to Servasa. Which, Flashpoint maps, they, they tend to still run Brawly, but you see more of the Junker Queen. That you do. I feel like that's just mostly because I feel like there's some points that do have that more range. And I think... Absolutely. I mean, Junker Queen is great in that close brawl, but that doesn't mean she has to be close to you to kill you. That is true. If she hits a knife and pulls you in, you're just, you're dead. Unless you got some escape movement that you're quick with or your may can, and can turn into an ice block. Yeah. And it's looking like the map pick is going to be Servasa. I mean, we'll only two to choose from here, so... True. Two, and they play pretty similarly. That they do. Well, we'll see what happens after a quick break. back uh the the flashpoint map as we were talking about a little bit before break is gonna favor the junker queen look and that's why suski is swapped in he played that he played that pick last round last uh match as well he was massive on it as well oh yeah he got a lot of those picks and some great knives i think just junker queen on these maps is probably a lot better than more of the some of the more traditional brawl tanks. That said, it looks like we are, that's what we're going to see from RIT, although they do have the Genji. Yes. We'll see how the Genji goes here. I mean, it did go, it does look like we're splitting our team. We've got Cheesebread and um, Jolo going on the left side, probably to just get some of that poke and 
Yeah, as we can see, just trying to fight the opposing Ash. But, oh my I goodness! It's gonna be tough. Finds the double dash and bang. Although yeah, their entire the team. Juno. Their entire team pushed onto them there. Uh, with the pick on Isaac, it's slipping that over. And Suzuki goes down soon after. And that is Fightman for our IT. Although, we do have already 50% to Juno Alt, though. Yeah, compared to 25 on the other side. Really, with how fast that charges, you'd expect that to be the first first ult up, and that's that'll be huge on this fight. Oh yeah. They can whip out a Juno or ult after the engage. That's really where you see it shine. When you get the damage boost and healing just on top of the enemy tank. And with the Orisa versus Junker Queen matchup, if the Junker Queen can live longer. Oh, and that's a pick already on the frost. And a big wall. Oh, the doesn't quite hit the knife. And that's just, Orisa is just getting beamed down even through gold here. Uh, and he and does die. There she goes, a four so, assist kill by Cheesebed with the whip shot. Oh my goodness, yeah. Everyone helping with that kill. Massive stuff, and the stagger on the brig will be nasty. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, they could have they stubbed that a little longer. That was gross. And, and Frost dying as well late there. Big. We'll probably not see another contest till almost 30 or 40 percent. More than that, Flashpoint ticks up That's quick. true. It is. It's going to be almost 50. I think probably past that. This is looking like a two-fight map, no matter who wins. Yeah. And Seb has got the Terror Surge along with the Rally and coming up on DPS ults. But let's see if Isaac can find a big blizzard here. He does go low initially. Oh, the see Juno the Juno ult coming out. out quick and, and Terra Surge to try and counter into it. it. Oh, the Rally comes out. The massive oh, blizzard. massive blizzard there. With Rescue Toast kind of basically inting, that's a fight win for MTU. Yeah, there we go. We take those. And I don't know if they're gonna get a contest here, or a touch rather. No, I, I would expect not. That would be quite dubious. And something very big test. here is we have the Junker Queen ult when they have um, the Juno ult. I mean, Junk, JQ ult is such a great counter to Juno ult. Absolutely. This Getting rid of all that healing. And you yourself as Junker Queen, if you hit enough people, You're not oh my goodness, do you not die. No, the, the self heal, I think it's, what is it, two times damage dealt as healing? It's I massive. so. Oh, unfortunately, the early pick on the Jolo. Can they punish Frost for it? Oh, oh, but the massive, massive rampage. That's two kills, and the Orisa's going There we low. go. Oh, no, uh -oh. the blade comes it's out. Still, it's it's still very even, though. Oh, no. Oh, man. Essel cleans up with Blade in a fight that was looking like it was going into his way. You really hate to see it. But we are up in the alts now. They used a lot there. They did. They used just about everything. And and, and we're coming back with Bob and near Blizzard. Only the and with how that used. first Blizzard go went, I'm sure this one will be big as well. Absolutely. All you have to do is make sure he doesn't get deflected or eaten. Yeah. Massive pull from Suski. And... The wall, the wall comes out on the on the Orisa, which he doesn't have fortify, and that's there a kill. There we go. Genji's in the back line trying to make something happen, but he just oh, he does we end do up get cheese, cheese bread. bread. How did that happen? We just need to get these kills here and end this fight. Brig, Brig, really low, but can't find it, and just Asso is causing problems. That he is. Oh my goodness. Just cleaning up every kill. And he's going we back to We did not get that. We. I don't think we have a touch here. No, we do not. We'll see it's going to go even on point two of Flashpoint here. Although, I, we said this last time, but it still remains true. It looks like we still do have the ult advantage, at least for the beginning of the fight. We are going to have Juno ult and Freeze, but no. they're going to have at least Terra Surge. And it looks like MTU is going to get to point first, meaning that Blizzard might come in real handy to keep them off point. Oh, yeah, if we can get that like first cap, really if flip. we could cap here before the fight commences, which actually looks like we're not going to, but that would have been amazing. Oh, yeah. I mean, we can still try to force them off with the blizzard. 
Yeah, if we can get that cap and a fight commences afterward, we'll get a good 30%, even if the fight is still going. Brig is just, again, just kind of on point in the middle of nowhere. And I think that's going to be... Two picks coming out from RIT. But the tank goes down in the side of RIT, so MTU is looking pretty good here. Unless the Genji makes some magic happen again. Or Bob. Which he could. Blade coming oh, out. Lifts the dash. Oh, but he does get the Juno. This is bad. Oh, oh my goodness. Man. Uh, it happened again. Really unfortunate. Genji being the only one alive there and cleaning up the fight. Yeah. You really hate to see it, especially at 99% on the rally. <laughs> yeah. And that's all we have going into this, whereas they have three alts up. Yeah. Honestly, you would have liked to be able to use that. It doesn't look, you won't be able to get much value out of it offensively, especially with just two alts coming out from uh, RIT instantly. Yeah, very quick Seb alts goes there. goes low, but it doesn't really matter in the Juno ult. Suski dies. Isaac is going to be quick after. Yeah, and Engie's yeah, just going to be again. cleaning it up now. Like forced out, but I don't really. I don't see, see Brig living, living here. here. <laughs> That's just a really big stagger. Yeah, that is unlucky. And if, I mean, we will have a touch here, but it'll probably. Be, it'll but be down a Brig. Yeah. But honestly, and be down a lot of alts because they still have rally. If you can touch and force something, but no, it doesn't look like they will. Until you backs off. Probably That's the probably the play. safe bet there. Especially since they're going to get to point first here. And now we're ahead on the Juno race with the Bob to RIT's rally. But honestly, with the way Briggs been playing, I don't expect to I don't expect the rally to get much value unless somebody. I feel like it's coming. more just to live through something, but I don't know if you can live through Bob with and the rally. It doesn't save the Ash. He's down. And Genji dashes in just to get obliterated by Bob. You can't make, you can't do that stuff three fights in a row, bud. <laughs> Especially not into big boy Bob. No. And we Bob, do get the first cap here. That's only and the only ult expended is the Bob. So we're looking pretty good heading into the next fight here. And we're gonna have Juno ult and May ult, both amazing ults to use here. Absolutely. And I think we're going to be wanting to use them early before they get theirs. If we can win this fight quick, that would be great. Yeah, if we're tracking well and we've realized that the Juno doesn't quite have it yet, but no, the opportunity They do have it now. And we do see it come out here, um, and we mirror it as well, I think. No, it looks like Savage held onto it, which ended up being a smart play. Uh, it'll be a quick flip. And honestly... Probably best case scenario, getting both support ults out without expending anything on the side of MTU. Yeah, that's probably our best bet here. We already have 50%. If we win this next team fight, that is most definitely going to be the last fight or a scrappy fight afterward. Yeah. The, the DPS ults in Terracer will be on the side of RIT, but... With how really Bob that, coming out there. And not really finding anything. I mean, yeah. we went the other way. The Bob so. is totally wasted. And Juno ult comes in. Genji's going to look for something here. He just dies. And I think, yeah, that's just, that was Terracer as well coming out there. Um, really? That was, was they three only have from, Blade now. Yeah, three ults from MTU, but they, they're matched on the side of RIT. And suddenly it's looking a lot more in MTU's favor going to the last fight on this point here. Though those blades have been great, I think it's more because of the fact that he's using them near the end of fights and getting those last picks rather than yeah, opening it with it. So I'm wondering to see if he's going to try and open with it here, and I don't know how well that's going to go for him. No, especially walking into the rally. Yeah, the rally used reactively and, and stunned and yeah, bashed, and, and he's off the map. Not quite. Not but. quite, but that blade getting nothing. Absolutely. Other, it did get one ult out of us, but... Only rally. Nope, that we want oh my to goodness, anyway. I did not realize Jolo was behind. Jolo huge on the dynamite. Flank, and huge... Seb's going low, he's down. Another four assist kill. And aside from the pick onto Jolo, that's going to be nothing from RIT. And MTU is bringing this to a map around 5.5. That was a great flank by Jolo there. That was massive. The Bob got sent in and he was all alone afterwards, but he just got so much value that it did not matter.
And it, to be honest, I this is like a pretty great position for MTU to be in. Unfortunately, you do have the Juno ult and the Bob coming in from RIT, but considering how dicey this looked just minutes ago, you really oh my really goodness, want to see it. getting and some a massive knife on the Essel. Unfortunately, it's found the other way. Both maids go down. Oh, double, big ramp, big double um, axe. Yeah, forcing out rally. I do. He does go down there, unfortunately, but... Fortunately, Susie can't win the fight on his own, and the rest of the team falls. He does still have that Rampage for the Juno ult, though, which Absolutely. is big. Uh, that, not to mention, Juno ult's coming up from MTU as well, so they have two choices on how to deal and with And Rally, it. and we have four alts coming up here. We do. Everything but Bob, whereas RIT only has Terra Surge and Juno ult, which... Or we have at least strong, one good counter. We have a counter and the match. You'd love to see, and that's a early rampage. But it look, we do it does get. Find the tank. It Jordan looks like they down, are going to go in for the. Oh, the blizzard on the brig. We do get the kill there, and that's a quick fight win. That it is. It does... Oh, unfortunate that they do get a lot of percent there though for that contest. Yeah, but 63. I think you get a retouch, so it's it's a, it's just early enough where. I think you're you're still looking at two fights. Yeah. Or really. You're looking at a good recontest um, if they cap this. But if they cap this and then a long fight happens afterward, it's going to be scrappy. Absolutely. So, Plus 30% will turn into 60% real soon. Especially that it with will. the rally to stall out. Unless a, a oh, big the, oh my goodness is really big from RIT here. It does we do lose Jolo one. there from it. We almost Brig get one. the Brig, though. I could hear him downstairs saying uh, Brig 1. <laughs> no, but they're forced off the point, and that's a flip. And unfortunately, Suski finds a pick, but he's just getting staggered here. He needs Very to die. He needs to die now. as quick as he can, and he's he still he's living. living. I don't know about this here. That, that is just... Is, you, that's really unfortunate. There's not much to be done at this point, especially he was so close to the rampage. Oh, I think he, he was he probably he trying to that build off. that, wasn't he? Yeah. I mean, we do get the touch on the Sombra here, but we're going to be comes at the cost of two. And that's a fortunately we, a map win for RIT here. That it is very unfortunate. Very competitive, though. Extremely close going to that last point and only like 40 percent left on us getting to 99 there so no that was really a, a pretty looks like pretty evenly matched unfortunately we just couldn't close that at the end there it's really interesting to see but like, you'd expect the drunk queen call like the drunk queen did not get as much value as it usually does yeah no usually you just see her coating the kill feed and blood but not this time and with that, we're going to go to a quick break as the server crashes.
back on Coliseo. This is a really interesting map pick here from RIT. I wonder if they're going to try to play some poke? Well, this would be a pick from us, wouldn't it? Oh, it would be. You're right. I, yeah, I'm not... That's honestly even more puzzling. I don't I mean, quite know. All of the push maps are pretty poke heavy or die. I feel like this one out of any of them is the most brawly out of any of them. I can see that. Uh, we do have JRB back on the tank here with the Orisa. Yeah. Looking like going to be more of the same comps we've been seeing. Yeah. With again the only difference being that Genji, but no. Oh never not. mind, it's going on the main. Time. And four little rings come out of spawn and they're off. Off to the races. Looking like we're gonna see a classic engage on cart between two races. Would not expect anything else. Yeah. And dynamites come in. It looks like RIT beat them a little bit of the cart, but they're wrapping around pillar. And the, the fight is. Oh, I think like JRB's walled off corners. right now. But they do not get a kill before the wall goes down. That is. No, they force very the nice. And a little ring, but oh. Oh, and, and Isaac does go down there. Unlucky. Looks like we're just gonna be we're leaving. Wrong spot. And that's a first fight win from RIT. I think he's gonna have to look to retouch here. I'm gonna wait for their May though. The May's wall is just such a massive utility. That it can't is. Can't really go without it. Like we're Gino. already two thirds of the way to a um, parasurge. Parasurge. And the Juno ults are kind of matching on both sides, not just for MTU. I think that big assault, the May all is gonna be coming up on the RIT side much quicker. Yeah, no, you really, that does not bode well, especially, oh, they're just gonna back off here. They're not gonna take the fight. Oh my goodness, their brig was, oh, oh there we go, Frost down. falls down. The javelin at nothing, is Seb gets javelin himself, and suddenly MPU has the, all of the momentum in the world. The Juno ult not gonna come out of this fight. Both teams have the Juno ult now, but no. we do have Terra Surge and Bob, whereas they do not. Although they have the Blizzard is the only problem, but I mean, it really, big... it's going to be a full ult fight by the time the poking ends. Oh yeah. We just have one on the cart. I guess the Brig, isn't it? Yeah. Brig just pushing while everybody else fights. And it looks like. Someone's going to try and fight him oh, on man. point, but the we're just pushing in. Damage boost finds a kill and Mail on point, but our, their Isaac May dies the before. Duel. Yeah. Beautiful stuff from Isaac. And that that's the lead. That is the Mail coming out and they switch to Genji. Mail swap for the Juno ult. So you will there is a Juno ult on the side of RIT, but other than that, we do have more everything. It is still four alts to four alts. Uh, Essel, he, he really did not take long to decide that May was not for him again. Both Bob's coming out, both. Oh. Juno ult coming out. Oh big my goodness, surge. that's a big Terra Surge, and I think that's just going to be a loss for us. But we do get the lead from him by quite a bit. And the full group spawn, we're all a full team respawned at the same exact time. I don't think no we staggers. got the forward spawn though. We did not, so we're gonna have to be taking this fight pretty quickly here. Yeah, if you want a second one before the lead flips. Looks like we're just taking high ground. Honestly, so I think dropping off it pretty quickly. May goes low. Genji's forced to back up as well, and, and Jolo destroys Frost in one v one. Very much so. Terra Surge comes out, doesn't find much, but they're forced back still. And Essel goes down as well. Massive stuff. It's gonna be another team fight win from us. We've seen this time and again where both DPS on the side of RIT fall. Looks like MTU just knows how to take advantage of these engages that Essel's going for. More so as the match progresses. Oh yeah. So that's it, he is coming up on Blade. 
And this, we are, they are contesting here, yeah, and but it looks like we're just trying fight. to play safe, stay in that little corridor down there. Until we can do that, oh, the big massive, wall off. The massive wall, and Frost goes down as well. Yeah, they should be able to find the kill on the Orisa here as well. Oh. Probably. Unfortunately, that's not Orisa, that's Genji. And he just dashes up and away. But, but there we go. Nice. There's the kill on the Orisa, and we're very much looking at a good lead here. Uh, now, we get forward spawn now. Now we do get the forward spawn, yeah. Which is absolutely going to be huge. For and then some as well. We're still pushing it before they can fight us. Yeah, we're coming up on both support. Oh, this is a... Oh, Ooh, Jolo gets picked early, unfortunate. I'd imagine they're going to look for a blade here. They might try to win without it. Oh. Which would be a good idea from them, because... Oh my goodness, almost dying there, though. There we go. Okay. But, oh my goodness, the deflect does kill Isaac. That's unfortunate. Yeah, but the general is... The massive damage does force them back. Forces out the rally, too. And Seb's low still, regardless. But, but they the, do, do have card push, unfortunately. And Frost just uses the bob to win the 1v1. Do what you gotta do, I guess. I kinda like that, though, because that is a big ultimate that they will not have now. Yeah, no, we'd, we'd love to see that from side of you. And, and immediately dying down. after that interesting bob play. <laughs> yeah, and the blade comes out. It does find the brig, unfortunately. But the Juno ult, the only Juno getting that one after. kill. Looks like, despite some picks, we're on point. It's going to be a big stall. Terror Surge coming wow. out. Wow, let's take on the brig. It's massive. It looks like Jolo will fall. The bob comes out, the further stall point. And I think we do win that. It's just, can we get these last kills? Doesn't look. It looks like they're running away. They're going to take the team fight later. Yeah, that was really interesting. It looks like it looks like we had that RIT had pick advantage, but they just fell over. Backed off. I guess they wanted to take the fight again quickly before what they thought was a lost fight would end. Genji's one HP, but Frost oh my finds goodness. Isaac. Just kind of blew up there. Was not ready for that much damage. Ooh, but Joel finds a head tap. And it looks like MTU's now the one backing off. We've got quite a bit of time here to touch because they have to get first point, which it'll sit there for a good five seconds Ooh. before it starts moving again. Looks like JRB tried to touch, but Seb didn't let him. Unfortunate. Massive damage coming out from Jolo again. And Frost is pushed back. Frost is one. Jolo finds a pick. And, and we do contest before they get the lead, so. Despite if we can win spawn. this fight, that is... Oh, oh unfortunate it there. Like Jolo killed his own Mei to the Genji. I think he did. Oh my goodness, and Seb gets um, JRB off the map. And uh, Jolo's going to need to touch if we don't want to lose it, but... He can't. He He's, can't. He can't contest the Orisa, which is... You really hate to see that. And Seb just leaves. He knows he can't take that the rest of the fight, so he just gets that little bit of the lead, and now we have to take it back. I was kind of a wild sequence there. That it was. It the, got very scrappy. The boop kill on the Orisa to close it out for RIT. If they did not get that, they would not have gotten the lead. It would so not that was have. a big play from Seb. And again, another five old look from RIT. It's already happened once. And Essel this time goes for the early blade, but forces out the blizzard and immediately backs up. Although that is a trade to the favor of RIT. But that's we also not... use Rally as well. Oh, that might be a big Terra Surge. Does uh, get cheese bread, but he might, he does die there from it. Big stuff. MTU punishing at exactly the, just the right temperatures. And we can get these last another stagger. picks. There we go. It wasn't on cart there, but we weren't pushing, so unfortunately we don't get the benefit of the stagger. But it's looking like Frost will be in spawn yet again when this fight's taken. That's the orbital ring coming out from RIT. I guess. It looks like we don't have anyone on point right now. I think Genji we're just kind of waiting. Oh, there the we Juno. go. We do use the Juno all. Oh, Snipe. And our Arisa is behind them. Snipes go back and forth. The, the Genji goes down, but uh, Maze just. Unfortunately, can't find much. We use Bob on point, it looks like. And that 
fight, some good cart push. That is a fight win for RIT. Unfortunately, that timer's ticking down. We're gonna need to win this next fight yeah. and then get that lead, probably in overtime territory. Yeah, this is looking like you have to win three good fights to flip this if you're MTU, which they can do, but it will be an uphill battle. Oh yeah. Uh, they do, uh, RIT did use all of their ults last last fight, and MTU still is coming in with the blizzard. That's looking pass. really low there, but we do not get the kill. Oh my goodness, so, so many people are low. Big. They find, the, find, they find both healers, and that's the fight win. We're just going to be getting those um, final picks there. And they can win the fight without expending the blizzard, which is massive. We are coming up on the Brig Alt, which It'll be is going to be for great for the blade, yeah. But that said, it will be met by a Bob and a Terra Surge as well soon after. Yeah, that's going to be very difficult for our team to deal with. They might have to use the May defensively again. And although that said, it, it is overtime now. And all and the, the alts coming out point. very quickly. The blade not really finding too much, but it, I think it, it does find JRB. Yeah, that's, that is not good. Pick, pick, picking away the tank, but Sa Savage finds two, but it's not enough. And, and that, that is going to close it out. That'll be the win from RIT. It was a close, close match, especially at the end there. Very much so. But in the that end... That last fight went just a little bit differently. We most definitely would have taken that win. Well, but in the end, we don't quite get there and we lose. Our first loss of the regular season, which is pretty Very incredible. unfortunate. Well, unfortunate we lost. Good that we've won so much. Yes. And, yeah, you really... Not too much to say about that other than we played great, but we cannot come out with the win there. No. Unfortunately, despite our win against Cumberland, who are the only team to beat RIT until now, we were RIT's victim. And I think now we'll... Be back in a bit with a player interview from Ray. Absolutely. We'll see you then.
And we're back with Savage, the Juno player for MTU Esports. Uh, that was a tough first loss after going undefeated for three maps. What are you guys going to do to bounce back? Um, so our plan right now, get more practicing in. We weren't prepared. We, it's very obvious we were under underprepared. That was a match that we did, weren't looking too much at. We should have. We didn't prepare properly. It, issue on our part, but I don't think it'll be too much of an issue. We're going to work harder in practices. Make sure that we're hitting up everything, every map type, every map in general. Just make sure that if we get another hard opponent in the upcoming season, we won't be running into these same issues that we did today. That's what you like to hear. Bounce back imminent, I'm sure. And so you're particularly strong. We've only seen the Juno from you recently. Uh, she's very strong right now. Especially the ultimates. We've been seeing massive value coming out. What do you do to set one up? Um, so pretty much thought process is half the time we're fully preparing like all right our plan We want to want them to use alts We want to force them to walk into us when they're walking One second they start walking towards us and we put around a corner and they cross after that That's an instant cue for us to just hit Juno and walk back because their alts are running out They're not getting value and then we have full power of damage uh, damage boost healing like we can go fully aggressive, I can go aggressive, don't need to worry too much about the healing as long as my team's in my alt. Mm -hmm. I can look for a flank angle, and just creating like all those angles, like Ash on an off angle, I'm in their back line, our wrist is in front of them doing infinite damage. It just creates a ton of pressure to the point where they aren't able to react fully, and there will be someone that's, wow, like steps out of place and gets picked. Yeah, and you see it in the match. Well, nine times out of ten, when you use it, somebody dies. <laughs> That that's the a, plan. Well, uh, that's some massive stuff. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this uh, MTU broadcast. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to follow along with the Huskies. Upcoming next MTU Esports Thursday on October 10th, MTU takes on Fisher College in Call of Duty 830. On Monday, MTU will go up against University of Toledo in Rocket League at 7. Tuesday, MTU will take on University of Toledo again in Valorant at 7. And on Wednesday, our Overwatch team is back against Rowan University at 7 p.m. Good luck in the match. Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you again for all of our partners. Uh, I have been uh, Liam. Uh, this is Savage. Thanks so much for watching.